I feel like skating's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. My mom and my Grammy loved to watch ice skating on TV, so I grew up watching that with them. And my dad took me to open skate on my fifth birthday. I did uh, off ice dance for a little bit, just on the side, definitely recreational. I enjoyed doing nutcracker performances, but then when I got to be 11 or 12, I had to pick between one sport. And I knew I definitely loved skating. I didn't want to give that up. So working with my coach, Julie Pounder, she really helped me train and refine my habits and break some old bad habits that I'd developed over the first few years. And she really helped me to take off with my skating career and get stronger, overcome some nervous habits of my own. And I started out doing like freestyle events with your typical you know, jumps and spins, and then transitioned over into the solo ice dance. From there, I won the Nationals for Solo Dance um, in 2012 with Gold Pattern Dance. It was very challenging. Um, definitely training was one of the harder things I've done, but it made me the person who I am today. So skating, what I really like about it, it is a technical athletic sport, but it combines the artistry of dance. And so for me, that was definitely the best of both worlds. I would say I am a competitive person. I do like to be active, but yet I also, you know, I'm not coordinated with a ball or a puck. Like I could never do baseball or any other things. I'm not aggressive enough to do some of those like contact sports, but I loved skating because it had that dance background. When I competed in 2012, I had to alternate between a waltz, a quick step, and a tango. Um, definitely like doing the tango at the end of the day if I was tired or you know, frustrated, you could show that strength or, you know, not anger in a sense, but the fierceness of it um, versus the waltz, you know, you want to showcase the lightness um, and just joy of skating. And so doing the challenging skills, whether it be jumps, spins or footwork, um, but also being able to perform with that elegance and grace that comes from training and working on your posture, your extensions and turnout of the free leg. There, there are so many details that people don't realize that affect the form that really can make an element stand out and look so much different from another skater. And that's something I even try to stress to my students that you know, my coach worked on with me as my skating. You want to try to stand out from your group and so what can you do to stand out and it's you know, all about like your posture, your form and how you can skate across the ice to impress, you know, in a sense, the judges or to max out the technical skill, you know, to gain that higher score. And just doing all that you can to essentially develop and produce the best product of yourself. If you can watch a skater and get lost in their performance and just enjoy it, you're not like they're counting the elements, like, okay, she did this many jumps, this many spins. You're just enjoying the performance. And that I feel like definitely is a goal. You know, and going through college, it, skating wasn't something I wanted to move on from. I did go to, you know, Purdue Northwest now. It was Purdue Calumet when I graduated. I majored in computer graphics technology, and I am able to use my degree with marketing our program here at Midwest, which I'm thankful for that opportunity. But skating was something I never wanted to give up. I definitely wanted to be able to share my love for the sport and all the knowledge I gained over the years. I would kind of help my cousin, some of my younger cousins, and different adult skaters or friends I know, and. The coaching kind of just became something where it's like I enjoy it and um, at least I'm still a part of skating even if I'm not training myself. At times it feels weird being on the other side of the boards and there's times where I'm like oh I want to just go out there and do it <laughs> like I, I know how I want it done. It's easy sometimes to nitpick like oh you did this wrong or you missed this and yes we have to critique that but I'm trying to okay also how can we fix it. So I'm trying to you know, continue to use my knowledge that I've gained from my training and apply it now and share it to my students um, to help them achieve their goals in skating. I miss competing. I mean, I don't even like saying I'm retired. It's a little bittersweet at times watching them skate and not being able to go out and perform, but I still love watching them do it and just trying to be their biggest supporter um, for my students and just really try to help them achieve goals, you know, and their dreams that they want to, whether it be to land a loop jump or to master your sit spin, even if it's a small goal, you know, small goals once achieved, then you can, you know, keep reaching higher. But I definitely, I just love figure skating. I'm so thankful and blessed that I am able to continue working and being able to teach on the ice. I feel like skating has become such a part of me. I've been doing it since I was, you know, five, six years old and now being almost 28. It's like, I, I can't imagine 
not doing it.